Greetings and salutations. Welcome back for another part of my Nice and Nine playthrough in a heavily modded Oblivion. We're back at the Temple of Zenasar. We are going to attempt to pray at the Tomb of St. Calidus again in order to pass the test and retrieve the Mace of the Divine Crusader. We attempted this before but couldn't cross the chasm in this, I guess, dreamscape, visionscape. Because we did not have the boots of the Crusader yet. Now that we do, we should be able to cross. And there is the mace resting atop an anvil. Symbolistic of, or symbolic of, um, the craftsman. That is the, um, Nine Divine of Zenisar. I guess that's a weird way of saying it. Basically, Zenisar is the god of craftsmanship in the Nine Divine religion. Okay, um, I've completed the quest of Sir Ralvis by recovering the Mace of the Crusader. I should return to the Priory and find out if there's been any news on the remaining two relics. That would be the Greaves and the Sword. Now the Mace is a really awesome weapon, one of the best blunt weapons in Oblivion. It boosts your blunt skill by 10. It doesn't say that here, but it's like a passive ability, the Crusader's Arm. And it does 20 points of fire damage and turns undead up to level 18 at my current level, which is 15. So it can turn undead even more powerful than me. I could try it out on these creatures, but I'm not going to. They're, they're temple guardians. Go ahead and save here. Because there's trouble up ahead. The auras of Meridia are attacking the chapel. Now I want in particular to protect the Dark Elf Priest here, because he is um, the seller of spells. It's like they took out my wisp. Okay, that one's fleeing out on the streets, the guards should be able to deal with it. So I got this one first. Looks like... Uh, the temple guard managed to handle it. Summon up another light spell. Greater soul gem, that's nice. Let's go ahead and see if we can turn down that remaining guy. Yep, here he is. Okay, after recovering the Mace of the Crusader, I found the minions of Umarel attacking the Chapel of Zenasar. They were all defeated, and the chapel in Leowen escaped desecration, unlike the one in Anvil. Grand Soul Gems, nice. I... I can't believe it. We survived! By the grace of the Nine, we survived! In no small part to you, Sir Knight, by your will and the will of the Nine, the Chapel of Zenithar is held against this blasphemer. Sir, I pledge my sword. I wish to join you in your quest to restore the Knights of the Nine and defeat this Umaril. Hmm. I accept. Welcome to the Order. I can only hope to match your bravery and valor. I am honored to serve by your side. Allow me to fetch more suitable equipment. I shall return shortly. Okay, so we've got our second member. He seems to be capable of healing magic. I think he, I saw him hurl some destruction magic as well. Hello. Now let's see if that guy's selling spells right now. Pretty sure I heard him. It's one of the problems with this game. So it's their uh, Radiant AI. Um, NPCs behave really weird. In this case, we heard the guy coming in, and now he's gone. 
I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any spells for me, at least none that uh, I care to get right now. So our next quest will be going to the Priory and finding out where the remaining two relics are. I think we'll save that for the next episode. I know this one was pretty short, but I believe the next quest is pretty long, so I'd rather keep that one separate for now. I hope you all will join me.